Happy Sunday morning! Welcome back, first grade, to our online lesson. This is Teacher Marv of New Vision International School. How are you all today? Hope that you have a great day. Are you ready to listen and participate? Today, I will be teaching you the math lesson. Okay. Do you love math? Here we are. We need to prepare the following materials. Of course, you have to bring out your math textbook, volume 2, and your pencil and eraser. Alright, let's have a review. Can you still remember our lesson last time? We were able to tackle the lesson about time. How do you read time? Now, we have here the hour or hour hand. Here you can see that the short hand is moving around the clock and it is pointing to numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Next, we also learned about minute or minute hand. In this, the long hand of the clock is moving around the clock, as you can see in the picture. Again, the minute hand is the long hand. Very good. Now, let's go to o'clock. Everybody say o'clock. Okay, as you can see, that the long hand is moving around the clock and it stops at 12. When the long hand or minute hand stops at 12, you will say o'clock. Look at the right side. There you can see the other clock. It is not moving. But you can see the short hand is pointing at 1 and the long hand is pointing at 12. You will say 1 o'clock. Again, say it. one o'clock good job okay let's move on here let's try to answer these examples the first clock can you look at it can you tell me where the short hand is pointing it is pointing to six very good now you can write it there six good job next how about the long hand which is the minute hand it is pointing to 12. Very good. So what is the time now? It is 6 o'clock. Yay! Good job! Next, the other clock. You can see that the short hand is pointing to 4. The short hand, remember, that is the hour hand. And the long hand, which is the minute hand, is pointing to 12. Very good. So, the time now is 4 o'clock. Very good. Okay. Now, we are going to move to our lesson. What do you think is our next lesson? There, our lesson is all about use attributes to define two-dimensionals or 2D shapes. You can also open your book on page 747. And we will end to page 752. Okay, let's start. There, our objective. For today's lesson, I can use attributes to match shapes. Okay, let's see. Okay, here's some of the vocabulary words. We need to always remember this. Everybody say 2D shape. Repeat, say it, 2D shape. Next, we have the sides. Again, say sides. Very good. Next, vertices. Again, say it, vertices. Very good. Now, in order for us to know and understand about 2D shape, we need to understand the first 
of course, we need to understand the sides. We need to also understand the vertices. Okay, here. We can see an example or some examples of 2D shape. Here we have triangle. We also have circle. We also have square. And we also have rectangle. Now listen carefully. The two-dimensional or 2D shapes, when you say 2D shape, it means two-dimensional. These are plane shapes. When you say plane, it means flat. You can define 2D shapes by how they look. Very good. How about the next one? This is our example as well. See? We have here the pentagon. We also have the triangle. We also have the rectangle. These are examples of 2D shape. It is flat. It has sides. And it has vertices. Again, you should always remember that the 2D shapes has sides. It has vertices. And it is flat. Very good. Next, we are going to study about the sides. Again, say it sides. Can you repeat after me? Say square. Can you see sides of the square? Very good. Say rectangle. Rectangle. Very good. Next, triangle. Triangle. The next one is pentagon. Again, pentagon. And then hexagon. Now, we have here circle. I would like you to remember that circle doesn't have sides. Some 2D shapes have straight sides and some 2D shapes do not. Look at the triangle here. We have three straight sides. Next, we have the vertices. Again, everybody say vertices. Very good. Okay, listen, listen carefully. When you say vertices, it means it has a corner. I will circle here the, cor the corner or the vertices of the triangle. It has one, two, and three vertices. Remember that some 2D shapes have corners called vertices and some do not have. Like example, circle. So can we name the, the shapes here? We have triangle, we have square, we have pentagon, we have rectangle, and we have hexagon. The circle here do not have vertices. It also do not have sides. Okay, so the first thing that you have to always remember is that any shape, that is not closed is not considered a 2D shapes. Understood? Look at the picture. This is not a triangle. Why? Because it is not a closed shape and it doesn't have three sides. Okay, let's have some activities here. So, we are going to circle the number of vertices each shape below has. Okay, let's see. There are choices and we need to circle. The first one, we have rectangle. Can we circle the vertices? The vertices, when you say vertices, it means the, the corner. Let's circle it and count. One, two, three. Four. So what is the answer here? Is it four, zero, or one? Good job. It's four. Next, we have triangle. Can we count the vertices? 
Let's count. We have one, two, three. Very good. How many vertices we have? Is it two, five, or three? It's three. Very good. Next, we have oval. Can you try to look at it? Can you find the vertices? No, it doesn't have. So what is the answer? Is it two, zero, or one? Zero. Very good. Next, we have hexagon. Hexagon. Can we count the vertices now? Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Great. Okay. What is the answer now? Is it three? Is it five? Or is six? Six is the answer. Very good. Now we have rhombus. Can we count? One, two, three, four. Now what is the answer? Is it four? Is it six? Or is it zero? Of course, it is four. If you have the same answer with me, then you can clap your hands. Very good. Okay, let's move on. Okay. Okay, let's have the activity too. What we are going to do is to just familiarize the sides and vertices of each shape. Now, can you guess what is the shape? What is the name of the first shape? Yes, good job. It's a square. Now, it says that the square has four sides. Can we check? Count with me. One, two, three, four. Wow, it's four. It's correct. How about the vertices? Can we circle it? One, two, three, four. Wow, it's also correct. Okay, now you can also see the examples of some square. You have it at home. Very good. Now, let's move on. We have very good triangle. Okay, let's count the sides of some triangle. Count with me. One, two, three. Wow, very good. How about the vertices? You can circle with me. One, two, three. It's also correct. Who likes to eat pizza? That's an example of triangle. Very good. Next. Correct. It's a circle. Now, you must be confused in this. But always remember that the sides is a straight. And a vertices is a corner. So, can you see sides and vertices here? No. So, the side is zero and the vertices is zero. Can you tell me some examples? Yes, we have the clock. We have... The coin. Very good. Next, what is that shape? Good job. It's rectangle. Okay. The same with square. It has four sides. Let, let us check. One, two, three, four. Very good. How about the vertices? Good job. It is four. Count with me. One, two, three, four. Very good. Here are some examples of it. The door, even the cell phone, and the table. Very good. Let's move on. We have rhombus or a diamond shape. It has how many sides? One, two, three, four. It's correct. And we also have one, two, three, four vertices. It's correct. Have you seen a kite? Have you seen a signboard? That's an example of rhombus. Next, we have, we have, what is this? Oval. Very good. It has, of course, like circle, it has zero sides and zero vertices. Next, we have hexagon. Can we count the sides? One, two, three. Four, five, six. It has six sides. How about the vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. It's six. So, hexagon has six sides and six 
vertices. Very good. Thank you so much. Here's the activity to B. We are going now to write the sides and vertices of each shape. And if you know the name of the shape, you can tell me. First, we have what is the shape? Yay! It's triangle. Now, the triangle has how many sides? One, two, three. You can write down here three. How about the vertices? Can we count? One, two, three. Very good. It has also three. Now, how about the next one? We have pentagon. Okay. Now, let's count how many sides. One, two, three. Four, five, five. How many vertices? Count. One, two, three, four, five. Five also. Okay, next. What do you think? How many sides do you think the rectangle has? Okay, let's count. One, two, three, four. Yeah, four. How about the vertices? One, two, three. Three, four. It also has four. How about the hexagon? I'll give you one minute for that. Okay, let's check. How many sides? Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. How many vertices? One, two, three, four, five, six. Very good. It has six. How about the rhombos? Of course, it has four A sides and four vertices. Can you guess how many sides and vertices a circle have? Of course, it's zero. How about the square? The square is just like the rectangle. It has four sides and four vertices. Okay, and the rest I will leave it to you. We can answer it and ask mom's assistance. Okay, very good. Now let's move on. Okay, here are some examples of our lesson. Always remember that the 2D shapes, it has sides, it has vertices, and also it is flat. Look at the, look at the screen. And try to memorize the name of the shapes. Very good. Now, I want you to open your book on page 747. Okay, let's try to answer. Okay, the question there is that we are going to draw an object from your classroom that matches each shape below. How do you know that the shape you drew is the same as the one on the page? Again, what are you asked to find? Objects shape like the shapes on the page. How do you know about the shapes? They have different numbers of sides and corners. And the red shape has no corners. Okay? Now, Try to answer another one. We have down. You can see the rectangle and the hexagon. I'll give you three minutes to answer that one and we will check if your answers are correct. Start. Okay, let's check your answer. Yay! Did you draw the same as Kenya? If you do, if you if your answers are not the same with her, it's okay. As long as you draw the square, you draw the circle object, you draw the triangle object, the rectangle and the hexagon. Good job. Next, let's move on page 748. There. In here, we are going to tell how many straight sides or vertices and if it is closed or not. Okay. 
Let's do it. Number one. What is that side? It is... How many straight sides? Can you count? One, two, three, four. Very good. That's why it is four there. Now, ask yourself, look at this shape. Is it closed? Yes, it is. Very good. How about the number two? How many vertices? Can you still remember the vertices? It's the corner. Let's circle and count. One, two. How many? Two. You can write it there, two. Is it closed? Oops, it's not. Very good. So the answer is no. I want you to answer number three. I'll give you a few seconds for that. Start. Okay, let's check. Look at your answer now. See? Are your answer the same with mine? Okay, good job. You can take picture with that and send it to teacher, okay? Don't don't forget that. Let's move on. Page 749. Okay, you are going to draw each shape. Okay? Draw a close shape with three vertices. Close your eyes and remember which shape has three vertices. Number five, draw a closed shape with zero straight sides. And number six, you're going to draw a closed shape with more than three vertices. Number seven, of course, you are going to circle the closed shapes. I'll give you two minutes to answer that one. Very good. Now, let's try to see your answer. You can pause the video. Very good. Let's move on. Page 750. We are going to circle three shapes that have the same number of vertices and sides. Again, three shapes that have the same number of vertices and sides. And number 10, you are going to circle three shapes that do not have any vertices. Again, the three shapes that do not have any vertices. I'll give you two minutes to do that. Start. Okay, let's check your answer. Mm -hmm. The number 11 and 12, you are going to answer it alone. And, of course, you are going to, you can post the video to see if your answer is correct or not. Okay? To understand more of our lesson, I want you to listen to this video. Welcome to What's My Shape? The game where I will describe a shape, we'll find it among these five shapes, and then I'll say the shape's name. Ready? This shape has four sides of equal length. Do you see it? Here it is. It's a square. This shape is round and has no sides. Ready? It's a circle. This plain shape has six sides. Do you have them counted? This is the hexagon. This shape has two long sides and two short sides. Got it? It's a rectangle. Do you know which shape we haven't done yet? It has three sides. Yes, that's it. That's the triangle. Thanks for playing What's My Shape. Goodbye until next time. Okay. So, let's... Okay, thank you so much for listening and participating. I hope you learned something today. Wishing you a lovely day. See you on the next video.